what is up guys it was me money back here with another video and in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can make this asian banner header whatever but if you wanna make it just have to stick around and i'm gonna show you and this pretty easy technique to do all the pictures and app that i'm gonna use link in the description so you guys can download that so that being said let's get into the video make sure to like as well so as you guys can see i'm in ps touch but i'm making a header you can make a banner with that technique as well so what you have to do is width 2550 and height 1440 is needed for banner and i'm making a header right up here so when you're done with that what you have to need is these two images link in the description for both and you just have to put it right up here and make sure you hide this image and like this one so after that what you have to do is you just have to make it duplicate duplicate and duplicate and when you're done with that you just have to select where whatever you want like i'm just gonna select the top one transfer it make it right up here and flip it over and when you're done with that flip it anywhere you want after that select another one transfer it and we're gonna put it right up here and we're gonna again flip it up and boom and hit the tick mark and after that you just have to select the last one right up here and again transfer that and put it right up here when you're done with that select the top one right up there select the top one after i click on that merge down merge down merge down all of them so it's gonna look something like that now get to this image and show pointer eraser brush make sure hardness is at zero of your eraser and remove the edges oh wait let me just put it select the, this layer and after that remove the edges and something like that and as you guys can see i'm removing the edges of uh, that upper pick and it's gonna look something like that when you're done with that what you just have to do is you have to go into color balance and try to blend that thing with the background and i'm just trying and um, if you're like me it's gonna take a lot of time because i don't know how to blend this i'm trying so it's kind of blended after that what you have to do is just have to drag this empty layer above everything and after that put a gradient i'm gonna select this gradient i'm gonna make it something like that as you guys know i put this gradient in every video so after when you're done with that just have to click on that tick my whenever you feel right boom after that make it again go into end gradient this comes like this gradient make it something like that and make it something like that and boom it's looking already nice so lower the opacity and boom after that again i'm just going to try to blend that thing with the background because i don't feel it you can just whenever you feel right that your thing is blended with background it is all about that so when you're done with that what you have to do is you just have to add one more text stroke that i am going to give you in link in the description as well so that, that one is right up here so it was a smoke picture it is not texture to be honest so just have to go and put it on lightning and duplicate transfer flip it over put it right up here and boom after that merge both players down and it is pretty simple to be honest so lower the opacity if you want if you don't want to keep them at full after i get this text stroke and uh, what you have to do is put it right up here and to first of all make it like big and it covers the whole damn background when you're done with that what you just have to do is you just have to put it on click on that thing and put it on lightning and after that you just have to make a duplicate layer of that and transfer that put it right up here boom and after i get to a lower one and transfer that and put this in corner as well boom and after that merge both layers down like this and then you just have to lower the opacity it's gonna look something like that so when you're done with that what you just have to do is you just have to get your logo whatever your logo is i'm gonna 
just again trying to blend that thing with the background and if you're like me not able to blend that thing with background you can lower the opacity as well so i'm gonna do that as well so lower the opacity a bit so now it was completely blended with the background so now get your logo so i'm just gonna get my logo right up somewhere right up here so where's my logo uh, it would be in best picks here we go so this is my logo as you guys can see we're gonna put it right up here and as you guys can see it's looking nice in middle set pixels go into color and select turn color now click on that pen tool and just have to select this color no this is not the color that i want again we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna try to select the color and this is the color that you want no this is dark as well so we're gonna select bit lighter color this is the color that i want hit on that tick mark after that make sure you just select this layer this layer as i'm talking about you just have to select this layer and after that, click on that plus make a duplicate layer of that drag it above your logo Deselect if you select your logo and transfer that so you just have to transfer that one side of this covers your logo so just have to like opacity at 100 and go into your logo layer and what you just have to do is select pixels of your logo layer come back to that layer extract everything deselect and just have to lower the opacity something about here and you can lower the more like 45 percent is good much more down and drop shadow once drop shadow this time distance zero now third time put the blur and fourth time this time i'm gonna choose the blur like 75 percent that looks nice and when you're done with that it's gonna look something like that so this is not the final image of course what you have to do is just have to get top of everything make an empty layer and select your logo and drag it above everything except that empty layer so i'm gonna do that right up here and wait let me just put it right up here so select the empty layer go into gradient select this gradient make it big put it one third of that so make it more big and now put one third of that right up here so boom it is kind of like a bulb at the top of your head so when you're done with that make an empty layer drag it down select rectangular tool rectangular tool sorry for that and uh, put it right up here and fill boom and uh, after that deselect and again drop shadow one two and three this time you can load the blood and boom after that put it on overlay drag it down to your logo and make sure you have to the opacity and drag down to your logo so after that you're done with your header i think it looks very really, really nice so if you guys liked it please leave a like comment if you have any other questions subscribe for more awesome content I'm gonna upload a lot more from now so that's all by me my name is money and i'm signing off